obviously there's a, there's a difference out there. I thought one of the differences of course this was our first game was their second. We expected them to improve. I think they did. Um, you know, they didn't turn the thing off, but we did. Uh, we hurt ourselves, you know, by doing it. I think uh, the one time we got uh, turnover from them, they held us to the three points that they gave us a game. And subsequently after that, we, uh, we found ways to get them involved in that. We're a good football team, you know, and uh, we're very physical. We found our guys, you know, stood up. Uh, Questions for the players? Marcus, how was it for you for the first time? You know? uh, I think it was a good place to, to get my first, to get my feet wet. You know, an atmosphere like this is, is always great to come out and play. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's a couple of little things that I, that I should have gotten and, and didn't. Um, and I can't let, you know, just because it was my first game isn't an excuse uh, for any of that. Um, but, you know, we'll. we'll Keep our heads up after this. We'll move on and we'll fix the mistakes, and, and we'll be better next week. Uh, with Mark, as far as trying to establish a little bit of a rhythm or anything today, you guys ran the ball a little, uh, threw it a little. I mean, what, what were some of the difficulties in trying to get something going? Um, you know, I think when we got something going, it was either you know a, a tip ball or a turnover. I think you know once we got a rhythm going, they seemed to have topped it with a big play or. Where we, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot. You know, if I if I make a good throw, uh, it just always seemed like we had some rhythm, uh, and then it would come back at us. Um, so the goal is, you know, for next week for it to not come back and for us to keep our rhythm as we go. And I thought we showed signs of some good rhythm, uh, so we just have to continue at that. Michael, the, the defense got handed some bad field position. That's part of the game, of course. But when it happens. More than just a few times. How do you respond? Um, it's a little frustrating getting out there, but we're all a team, and our, our mentality is if, they, if we get put in a position like that to hold into a field goal, we just have to dig deep, try to bear it down, and just hold, try to hold into a three a field goal attempt. What was it like? Uh, obviously, you got to the quarterback a couple of times, but uh, it seemed like uh, it was tough to get uh, to get in his kitchen very much today against that offensive line. Yeah, they were, uh, <clears throat> I mean, Boston College, they're, they're here for a reason. They're big, strong, athletic. I mean, we were just told our mentality this week was just get lined up, come off the ball as hard as we can, work the moves that we've been, been taught, and see what happens. Well, that first, uh, right after the play got overturned, the ball crumbled, the pylon, and went for the, for the long ball. How close were you? I mean, Got a finger on it or two fingers? I don't know my fingertips. I should have laid out for it. Um, it was a great ball by Wash. And um, I should have just, you know, that's the, that's the big play that we made. Maurice, uh, in, in terms of trying to trying to get open and trying to get a rhythm, kind of going back to what I asked Marcus, I mean, were they a tough team to be able to run the route you wanted or get where you wanted to get timing wise? or? Um, they ran exactly what we saw on film. They played, they stayed in their coverage, so you know, we, uh, we were able to run our routes the way we were supposed to. Um, like Wash said, a lot of the time we just you know, shot ourselves in the foot, whether it was a pass batted down or you know, drop pass by the unit or something like that. So, but, uh, for the most part, they played exactly what we saw on film. And, uh, we just didn't have to Maurice, weather is part of any football game, of course. Um, the win? How did that affect the routes you made, or how the ball was coming at you, or did um, it not? I, I have no excuses for the weather. The weather is the weather. Is, so the reason why no, I'm not asking ball. so much for excuses, but did it impact? Did it change? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Watch those little balls. So. Just 
just isn't out of curiosity, Marcus. Uh, seemed like they got a lot of hands-on balls. Uh, is that a matter of the, the throw trajectory? Are they good at re <coughs> reading eyes? Or um, you know, their defensive line are some big dudes. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, I, I walked out there and one guy was pretty tall. He was, was like six nine, I think. Um, so you know, me being six one, it's it's one of those things where it's sometimes tough. If you know, it's tough on the on the offensive line to get hands down. Uh, when you're coming down to your check down routes where they're a little short, you know, it's, if the guy gets the hand up at the right time, um, he's going to bat it down. Uh, I think that happened just a couple of times today, and you know it's going to happen as part of the game. So, um. Michael, what were you thinking at the end of the first quarter? You look up and three nothing, you got a lead, and, and you know they made a few mistakes. What's going through your mind? I was feeling good. I thought we were definitely in the game, the defense was sharp, and uh, I was just, I feel like I thought we were in the game, I felt like we could have won it at that point, and uh, just continue to play hard and just keep it up. Michael, what do you take away, and, and I'm asking you because of um, the game against Pitt last year, um, same type of opponent, what do you take away from a game like this? Um, it's a, it's real good for us. It's a real good experience to play against a type of uh, like ACC one. It's a, it's a different breed of a, of a guy. So I feel like going against uh, BC gets will get us will get us a lot of experience, and it'll definitely uh, help us out with uh, our, our next opponents. Yeah, any I'm sorry. Oh sure, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm absolutely, you know. I mean, you know, you ask about our D line versus their D line. They have five guys in your own line, no one under 310 pounds. We don't have a 300 pound. We don't have 300 pounds on our level of football. And you talk about pass rush. We don't have six eight, six nine guys rushing our pass. It's just, you know, this is the thing that you face. I mean, and, you know, let's give them a lot of credit for being a very good football team. You know, when you get one taken away or you give one away, however you want to call it, what happened to them last week. They were a far superior team than Miami, and, and they handed one over to them. And I told our guys, and, and we knew what they were going to be hungry for a win, because you can only, you know, only get so many opportunities. Because this isn't basketball, this isn't baseball, this is 11, 12 games, you know? So we knew we were going to be up against the team. And they came out, and we caught a couple of turnovers that were breaks, and, you know, got a nice drive going and got some points up. but. Uh, uh, off of their turnover, but uh, you know what you saw out there is what's to be expected. You know, and, and they they stopped playing sloppy after that. I think they have an outstanding quarterback. They got guys on the defensive run to the ball. I thought their linebackers were impressive today. Uh, the guys in the secondary, and they got some big kids up front. They're not a big blitz team, but they play very much a uh, you know kind of a, a simple base defense and run to the football, and uh, you know it, it, it works for them. And uh, I think they're going to win a lot of football games, and I think as a result of this, we are too. You mentioned the fact that it's your first game, obviously. Were some of those things, uh, the punt they get, the punt snap they get dropped, I mean, they're, they're little, it seemed like there were some penalties at bad times, just kind of a typical one. No, no, I don't know if that has to do, I mean, you can drop a punt snap in game eight, you know, it's, those things aren't really the, the, uh, the the real critical thing. I, I just think they were more experienced at working the sideline. You know, we have we have five new football coaches on the staff. And we have a whole bunch of new guys, a new quarterback, a new you know, um, new people in new places in our defense at the safety spots. You know, that goes. When Trevor Costin and Jerome McMillan go to the NFL and you play two new first year starters, there's, there's some changes going on. And, uh, you know, communication and things like that, which you know. At times, we probably weren't great at today. It's going to get better as a result. Marcus will, will benefit from this tremendously. So will our safety. So will our football team. So will our punter. I mean, and, uh, you know, I, I, I like to think he did have a hell of a day today, except, uh, you know, he dropped the punt, a ten, he dropped the snap on a 10 yard line. He can't do that. Not against an ACC team. Yeah, it was just kind of, I mean, I was expecting it when it came. Uh, I'm not going to blame Garrett for it. I think it was a catchable snap. I mean, it might have looked a little high in the field, but it's one of those things that just kind of looked at my fingers. And, uh, you know, that, that was that. Any more questions? The first punt when John wasn't out there, was that he, he just run a route or something? Or, or? No, he forgot. He's the long snapper. 
Josh Barron thought we were punting on the 20-yard line later in the game and came up when we were going for a field goal. That one, I, I got no answers for you. Those are veteran guys. You think they were a little hyped up today, maybe? Coach Todd, what do you think the most important lessons are from today that you're going to utilize to the next game, the next couple of games? Oh, I, just, I think I just hit on them. I mean, it's an experience. You always, in football, there isn't a coach in the country who'll say that he doesn't get a bet. The most, uh, most improvement is shown from game one to game two. You know, we, we were an unknown commodity coming in. So, you know, BC had something to look at. They had a game that, uh, uh, as I said, they should have won, and uh, probably uh, they, they dissected it. Got sick dissecting it, and then got angry and came came out here and played. We don't have that in our, you know, in our. We didn't have that today. We have that for next week. You know, our guards are going to see some good stuff. They're going to cringe at some things we didn't take advantage of, missed opportunities, and, and poor play. Uh, we can fix that. I would suspect that we would, you know, react pretty much like BC reacted to this weekend. That they came in and they're ready to play a football game and uh, um, and hungry for a win. And that's what I suspect from our guys for next week. Any more questions? Just Afori, is he all right? Or? I'm sorry? Afori? Yeah. Yeah. He's fine. Can I ask uh, Marcus again, just the benefit of this being your first start in playing, you know, an FBS team like BC? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it gives us a lot of good lessons to learn. Um, you know, it's, it's a great atmosphere in here. Uh, BC's got a great program, obviously. Um, I think it's not only important for me, but it was important as an offense, you know, to get the kind of looks we got to get to play like uh, Mike was saying, to play against guys, you know, at this level, it's only going to make you better. Um, and I think that's obviously a goal as a team, as an offense, the defense is up to get better every day. Um, so we're going to take the mistakes we made today and um, take it for what it's worth and, and move on. All right. Thank you, gentlemen.